As photographers, we sometimes get lucky. Uh, in this workshop that I held about two weeks ago, we show you how to not just get lucky with the photos, but how to create an intentional photo using different uh, camera techniques and different lighting techniques as well as using modifiers on how to create the shot that we envision. Um, I take you through the process step by step from lighting the background and lighting the model. In this video I have Noelia as my model and the event is called PhotoFest and it's held at my studio, uh, Virax Studio. So if you want to learn a little bit more about my studio go to VirexStudio.com and yeah enjoy the video. You're plugged with the flash together. I'll have a sick portrait. Just take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> the best shot ever. It was the best shot ever. So right. you open up the app just to use like a stop the light or something? Yeah, I'm actually opening up so I can get more of the background in there. Remember, this is a white backdrop, but this is how I turn the backdrop back either black or gray, right? Even with all this ambient light. What's your aperture at? Right now, I'm at 5.6, oh. right? Which is extreme, but I'm just doing it to prove a point with this, right? So do you see the natural vignette on the gray? I don't know if the TV doesn't show this. Yeah. That's 5.6? Yeah, that's at 5.6. Um, what was right? the one before that? The one before that was oh, 10. 10. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you're looking at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now watch this. If I wanted to, if I wanted to spill some light, now I'm going back to my uh, Rembrandt lighting. So I'm going to get some spill in the background. All right, one, two. Right? And it has spill on the background. Now by doing that, I also got these highlights in her face. So let's say I bring up the, the F-stop. One, two. Right? Now, boom, you got a Tinder profile. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Would you use that for this? All right, Model Mayhem. Model Mayhem. Model Mayhem. Model Mayhem. Model Mayhem. Model Mayhem. Yeah, we got your business card. Business card. Yeah, if you see me, just... All right, business card, right? <laughs> now, here's the cool part. Now, I use this, and you notice it directly the light specifically where I want it. I move the lighting position, like we did the split line. It darkened out the back. I moved it to Rembrandt light, it spilled to the background, right? But we're talking about control here, like I have control issues, right? So, for instance, I'm going to go back to, closer to a loop style setting, right? So the first thing is, I'm going to shoot loop because I don't want this to spill onto the background, so I want the background to be black. All right, one, two, three. All right, so now I get my, back, my black background because I want control, right? Can y'all place this machine? Now let me explain a little bit about how these lights work. Now I'm using the pocket wizard to control from the camera to the light. Now I'm actually using that one pocket wizard to control that light, which will now control this light. Right? Just an example, for, for now, I'm gonna point it to just her. Right. Right. So now I'm controlling this light. The light bounces up to activate this light. I'm going to get a bright spot on her this side, a very bright spot. All right. So I got the bright spot on her. You see that right there? Mm -hmm. And now it got it onto the background as well. Of course, we're talking about um, control. So the next thing is, I can modify that by using the modifier. The whole point about this is talking about modifiers and how we can play with this one. I'm going to leave this off for now and we'll come back to it. Why am I so short? All right, so these are barn doors. It flags the light. So I want to make sure that it's going to go closer to what I want. So when I shoot this, it's going to be, it's going to be some spill, and there might even be a line, but let's see what happens. One, two. Right? Oh, no. Did you go off? No, they didn't go off. Oh, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta turn the light on. That's right. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. One, two, three. What I like. There we go. Hold on. Five, six. Nice. Right? So now I have this light that's going left on the background, and I'm having the lights go right over here on her hair. I'm using it as a rim light. But let's say I want to do something different, and I want to go only on the back. Right? So I change that. All I have to do is just move the light, change the position, six, seven, and one. That's how the edge is off. Now I like the background. These lady comb grips come in different degrees. This is about uh, 15 degrees, but they're both like 30, 45. So it, it, you can actually determine the spread of light. With these, I simply add this on without changing the position. Just add on the clay comb. What's the difference in power using between that light and that light? Oh, I think they're both at full. No, this is at half. A quarter. This is that a quarter power? And this one is at quarter power. They're about the same. Now, if I wanted to create some depth and stuff, I can move, I can't change the distance, but you might lose some stops of light with these, with these tricks. All right, so now this should cast. So right now, I shot that. It's not on her like we did earlier, uh, but it has a background. So now I'm gonna create a, a hot spot on the background. I'll move it accordingly. All right, one, two. Boom, boom. So that's my hot spot. Do you guys see that? Yes. Yeah. Now I can change that and, and to my light gauge. Hold on, let me make sure I get a shot. This is just a touch shot. All right. All right, do you see what I got? All right, so that's backlit. But now, what about the most favorite color? Purple. Purple. All right, cool. So I have these Rocco color gels. She said purple, we're gonna give her what she wants. Double lock of this, all right? All right, now we understand where the light is going to. Five, six, seven, and boom. Do you see the little highlight right there? It's not so much because that's what I want. It's, I'm gonna move my feet, five, six, boom. So you see how I have that, the purple on the back, on her back? Sorry, get anyway. All right, so don't worry about that on me anymore. All right. Right here, one, two, three. Good luck. Now I'm what? Because it's on a So far, this is my favorite shot. Yeah. Right? I could use that shot. Honestly, I might end up printing that. I might end up printing that one. But now a lot gets lost into the darkness. So I just want to add a touch of light. So I'm gonna add. Now I could use that gigantic one, but it's just so cumbersome to move around. And if you notice, these also come with grids. This is gonna counter. So remember earlier I used that as a hair light with the grid, right? But that's spilling onto the background. And it's eliminating some of that, that deep purple that I really like. So by going like this, right? Five, six, right? It just feels poor. <laughs> Does it reflect on something? All right, you know what I'm gonna do with the grid? Yeah, it's like, it's like, that's fine. What happens if I use a grid? All right, one, two. That's what happens. Yeah. Oh. Right. Five, six. I know she's up. She, it's very natural for her to go up instead of left. Right. Do something, and then once you go back, that's what you're right. 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 One, two, and then five, six. Right. So now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm forcing catch lights right into her eyes. All right. By telling her where to look, I'm creating these beautiful catch lights in her eyes. All right. I've built up the shot. I've shown you how I can get a soft highlight on her hair, the purple background, and I'm, I'm directing all the light into her face. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, can you work on Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I can actually use that shot. Thank you very much, Olivia.